If you've ever wanted to know how to put a percentage clock in your After Effects project, I've got a little tutorial to help you out. Before we start, I just want to tell you that this tutorial is inspired by the one that Jordan made over on the Sonduck Film channel. He goes over the same thing as well as several other awesome effects, so go give it a look if you have the time. Moving on, start by making a null object like this and naming it settings like this. This is going to be important when we reference it in a second. Now go to Effect, Expression Controls, Slider Control. After you do that, get out your type tool and type zero. You can use whatever font you want, just make sure you align it to your composition and in your paragraph settings, make sure it's center aligned. Open up its settings and then go to text and hold alt or option and click the stopwatch for source text. Now we've got to write our own expression for this to work and it's a little complicated, but take it slow and feel free to pause the video to make sure you get it all perfect. Type math.round, open parentheses, this comp, dot layer, open parentheses, quotation marks, settings, get out of the quotation marks, parentheses, dot effect, open parentheses, quotation marks, slider control, get out of those parentheses, then do one more, quotation marks, slider, and we're done. We don't have any more parentheses, and if you want to add the percent sign, you only have to do one more quotation marks. And the whole thing for that part is going to be space, plus space, quotation marks, percent and it'll show a percent sign at the end of your number now. It also works for any symbol, so you could also make a dollar sign at the beginning of the counter by just copying the same exact thing, but replace the percentage sign with a dollar sign and put it at the beginning instead of the very end. Now I know that that was a lot, but when you go up to the slider we made now, adjusting it will make our numbers count both up and down. From here, all you gotta do is throw down some keyframes and you've got a percentage counter. Now making the clock portion of it is a lot less of a headache than what we just did. Get your ellipse tool out and make sure that the fill is turned off and the stroke is set to 70 pixels. Draw a circle and center it so our numbers are comfortably inside it like this. Now duplicate it with Command or Control D and set the opacity of the bottom one to 40%. Go to the top one and go to Contents, Ellipse, Stroke. Set the cap to round cap and then go up here to this play icon and add a trim paths effect. Now go into the trim path settings and set the end to 0%. Then click on your settings layer to bring up the slider control again. Click and hold the pick whip next to the start and then drag it all the way over to your slider controls. Now that it's been parented, it'll move along with our numbers. And that's the video. Hope you learned something and I'll see you next time. If you're looking to save time and produce awesome work right here in After Effects and Premiere Pro, check out our links below to get access to our Motion Duck extension, which contains thousands of editable templates that are easy to update and ready to go for any commercial, client, and personal project.